Welcome back YouTube. We are finishing up this and if you look close at the paint on the car ready So you're gonna see this paint is darker than the bumper cover So this the average person would never notice that so when they blended this you could see It's light in here, and then it's a little darker up in here And then the fender the bumper cover is actually a darker green than that So the average person would never notice this on this Ford Fusion like I said a lot of vehicles have had paint work done an average person's eyes not trained enough to know the corrections and the blends and the telltales of that um, and some are real obvious because it's super poor quality but anyway so we're back on the wheels for the Ford Fusion right so take a look so that was just an edge that was corrected so we left the original factory paint on the inside edge so whatever overspray went on the inside of the wheel, we wiped all that stuff off. So that's the right rear wheel. So now when this car goes for sale, right, the customer is going to look at the car and see that the tire treads are decent and the wheels are actually in great condition. There's a difference between a lot of used car dealership lots. And you, and you have to know what you're looking for. Left front wheel. If you go back to the previous videos, you'll see what this is. Uh, you're talking about a $15,000 car um, that's done right. So it's detailed right, it's cleaned up right, the repairs are done on it, the wheels are, are corrected so that they don't look horrible. So when the customer looks at their car, right, when they, they get in, they see the wheels every day. They're not going to see the dirt in the fender well and the, and the dirt under the seats and all that stuff. You know, some dealerships don't fix worn out seat belts, seats, missing interior parts, um, worn out steering wheels. You know, one of my pet peeves is the rear view mirror um, on cars is when it, it's all worn out and, and looks fit 30 years old. I mean, for 25 or $30 on an older car, it's worth putting a new mirror on. Some of these newer cars, the rear view mirrors are outrageous, so I wouldn't expect the world. But now for a $15,000 car, a walk around, right? Because this is what the people are buying. A lot of people don't know anything about a vehicle, but what they know is body damage, curb crash wheels, missing parts, damaged parts, things that don't work. And if you think about for a $15,000 investment for the same car at this lot, right? Versus this car at another lot that has tons of issues, paint issues, wheel and tire issues, you kind of are going to go, I'm gonna go someplace else and buy from a better lot because this car doesn't need wheel restoration or wheel work or tire work or interior parts. Um, so this is good enough to sell. I mean, it looks great. Look at that. Compared to what it was, thanks for watching.